Hey everybody, welcome back to Captain Jasper. Today I wanted to talk about how to get our rabbits ready for summer. And no, I don't mean ready for a beach trip. I'm talking about how to help your rabbits survive and thrive during the summer months. Sadly, many rabbits suffer from heat stroke, fly strike, dehydration and more during the summer months. And mortality rates tend to be higher in hotter months for our furry friends. But there are so many steps and precautions we can take to help ensure our bunnies have the best summer possible. Here are my top tips on how to get bunnies ready for the summer. Anti-parasite protection should be provided for your bunnies all year round. But it is so important to ensure you keep up to date with it during the summer months. I use a Bufa anti-parasite protection spot on that helps protect against internal and external parasites. And a fly strike spray every three months. Fly strike is unfortunately one of the most common issues rabbits come into vets with during the summer months. Flies will lay eggs usually in the rabbit's rear end and the maggots will eat their way out causing a very slow and painful death. Generally it goes unnoticed until after the maggots have hatched and it's often too late to save them. To prevent flies from laying eggs on your rabbit, ensure their bum is clear of any poo or urine, stains daily, and for added protection, I use fly strike spray, which you can get off Amazon and in pretty much every pet shop. I honestly couldn't recommend this stuff enough. It is really a lifesaver for bunnies. Just as flies are more abundant in hotter months, so are parasitic bugs, which can cause great harm to our bunnies in a host of different ways. Using an anti-parasite spot-on can help deter insects, such as fleas and ticks, from latching on and causing harm to our bunnies. Rabbits really are not great at dealing with high temperatures or sudden temperature changes. They can suffer from heat stroke and dehydration very quickly. Rabbits generally can't handle temperatures above 30 degrees Celsius very well at all, and it is important to ensure your rabbit isn't getting too hot during the summer months. This can be done by providing lots of shade, having fans or ACs on, frozen water bottles to lay against, and regular brushing. Rabbits can molt up to four times per year with two big molts in late spring and early autumn. To ensure your bunny doesn't get too hot or end up with a condition called wool block, it is best to brush your rabbit daily through the molting periods and at least weekly when they're not molting. I personally brush the boys every day if they're molting or not. Not only to ensure I'm removing any excess or loose fur, but also to help them stay used to being brushed. As if you only try to brush them when they're molting, they may be more resistant to it as their skin can be extra sensitive and brushing can tickle or irritate them. Brushing away loose fur can help keep your rabbit from overheating in extreme temperatures, but it can also help to identify if your rabbit is infested with external parasites such as ticks or fleas. For more tips on how to help rabbits keep cool in heat waves, don't forget to check out this video. Often when an animal becomes too hot, they will also become dehydrated. To help prevent your bunny from becoming dehydrated this summer, it is a good idea to have multiple water bowls that are refreshed daily. It's always a good idea to check on your rabbit's water source throughout the day to ensure it hasn't been spilt or soiled. This is especially important in hot weather to avoid dehydration. If you suspect your bunny is suffering from heat stroke, dehydration or parasite infestation, please seek veterinary assistance as soon as possible. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.